I've taken the side panel off my bike and this is the bolt that holds the seat on so there's one on each side one here and one on the opposite side um, on my bike you'll notice now it doesn't really screw in properly it just sort of slides in and out and doesn't hold particularly well so what we're going to do is we're going to do a thread repair on this part here and we're going to use a helicoil kit to be able to do that Here's the helicoil kit that I'm going to be using um, and this one comes in a range of sizes so we've got M5, M6, M8, M10 and M12 so this will cover off most of the bike needs that we have. Here's the bolt that we need to get the replacement for. Um, there's a couple of ways we can do this. Seeing as we've got this kit actually what we can do is use the replacement threads here and try our bolt in it and that way we're going to make sure we've got the right size. Otherwise if you're looking to order a kit and you need to know which size you need to get what you can do is grab yourself a pair of vernier calipers. Um, this is a 6mm bolt so that means we're going to use an M6 kit. Just to talk this through then, so here we're going to use this M6 section here. So this is the drill that we're going to use to drill out the old threads. We're going to re-tap it using this tool here. We're going to then screw in the new thread using this tool here. And then there's a small lug at the back, this little part here. And we're going to break that off using the lug breaking tool there. Fairly straightforward, let's get this done. Before I start to drill out this part here, I can see that there's electrics running behind it. So I'm just gonna be mindful to make sure that those are clearly moved out of the way so that I can't potentially catch them when I do the drilling. Up close, you can see how damaged these threads have become. Nice and simple then, let's just drill this out. This is the tap and the wrench as well. So we just put that in adjustable so we can put various sizes in um, and now what we're going to do is make sure that we keep this completely level so the first few turns are the difficult ones um, we do a cup sort of halfway to a turn and then turn it back the other way to just break that thread off because the idea is is that we're creating a whole new thread So you can see here the tiny pieces of metal that are coming out, that's the pieces of metal where we're creating the new thread inside. So we've got it all the way through now and the threads are really well made so actually the tapping tool will now just come out by hand. And there's the new thread, so a massive difference you can see already. Here's the new thread on the applicator and you can see here just fits into that little groove. And all we're going to do is nice and slowly keep rotating it in. Should go in fairly easily and we're going to keep going until it's about half a turn in. That'll do. So we'll pull that out. Last bit of kit is the punch tool. So we're just going to push that through. Off. And there we have it, we've got the new thread. So here's our original bolt that didn't fit in at all. And now that's going to do a great job holding the seat back on. Fantastic stuff. Time to put her back together and take her out for a ride, I reckon. Check out my puppy hiding under the shadow of the bike out of the sun, helping me repair my bike. Thanks, Beau.